Hi, everybody. We are going to do another story. And this story goes along with the book, Liberty's Journey. So I want to share my screen with you so that we can read this story. Here's the story. It's called Journey Home. Now, when we read the story, Liberty's Journey, we learned about the Statue of Liberty and how the Statue of Liberty left New York City and went across the United States all the way over to California. So today, the Statue of Liberty is going to travel back to her home. Let's turn the page. I hope you have your communication board ready because we're going to talk about the Statue of Liberty and we're going to talk about where she's going to walk so that she can get back home. It's time to go home to see all the New Yorkers missing me. I'll travel back to New York to stay and visit new states along the way. So here's a map of the United States and Lady Liberty, the Statue of Liberty, is in California. So let's see how she gets back to New York. I leave the Golden Gate Bridge behind and journey to the Grand Canyon to find the most amazing sight I've ever seen. Tall rocks, deep holes, a magnific magnificent scene. What state am I visiting? Well, let's look. Oh, you might know if you can read that right there. So she's gone from California to this state. Let's see. Arizona. And there's the Grand Canyon. My journey takes me through New Mexico. Deserts, mountains, and rivers flow. On to the second largest state I go, where I stop to remember the Alamo. What state am I visiting? There she is. I don't know if you can read that state, but this is a big, big state at the south part of the United States. Let's find out. Texas. And there's the building of the Alamo. Traveling northeast through a forest of pine, I cross from Texas over a new state line. I'm weary, I'm tired walking through humidity and heat. I stop at hot springs to soak my blistered feet. What state am I visiting? Oh, now look, she's gone from California, Arizona, through New Mexico, down to Texas, and now here she is. What state is that? Arkansas. Oh, and there are those hot springs. She's soaking her feet. She'll be ready to walk again soon. Straight east I walk to meet the Mississippi. Traveling north by steamboat, I see many a state and city. Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky I travel by, onto the gateway arch that soars high in the sky. What state am I visiting? Well, let's look again. From California to Arizona, through New Mexico, down to Texas, into Arkansas, and here's the boat that is going to go up the Mississippi River, and it's going to travel by Mississippi, Tennessee, and Kentucky, and on up to another state. Let's find out what it is. Missouri. Wow, look how big that gateway arch is. I used to live in St. Louis, Missouri, and I went to the gateway arch. You can travel in the arch and go to the top. It was very cool. Yeah, so we can see from Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Kentucky, and on up into Missouri. I leave the arch where many explorers began their travel west 
and head northeast through Illinois and Indiana, no time to rest. I stopped to marvel at the incredible sight that Appalachian Mountains rise to a great height. What state am I visiting? Oh, let's see, what state is that back there? Ohio. Appalachian Mountains, look at those mountains that she has to travel over. Climbing over the mountains at a slow rate through Ohio and West Virginia into another state. A story of freedom, the next stop will tell as I enter Philadelphia to see the Liberty Bell. What state am I visiting? All right, she's gone all the way up and here she is. Let's find out what state that is. Pennsylvania, and there's the Liberty Bell. I feel the ocean breezes. I'm so close to home. The Atlanta Ocean seems endless, but no need to roam. I live on an island in the bay. I'm back home, and I promise not to stray. What state am I visiting? New York. Oh, and it's the Statue of Liberty. I don't think the Statue of Liberty is visiting there. I think she lives there. She's home. Now, here is a map of the United States. I want you to figure out where do you live and what other states have you lived in or visited? All right. I hope you enjoyed that story. I sure did. And I hope to see you and talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.